How many of you uh, read a newspaper this morning? Jason, did you? No, I just want to let you know I did last night's assignment. <laughs> <laughs> well, right now, I'm not interested in last night's assignment. Man, that's just my luck. When I do it, you ain't interested. You're going to be interested tomorrow in today's assignment. <laughs> You'll find out tomorrow. Now, if you people don't read the newspaper, how do you know what's going on in the world? I thought this class was history, not current events. Everything that's in this paper happened yesterday, and yesterday is history. So, starting tomorrow, I want everybody to read the morning paper and be prepared to discuss it. That includes the comics? <laughs> I'll tell you what. You spend a half an hour on the news and editorial section, and after that, you're on your own. Mm -hmm. uh, I have that transfer student here I told you about. I was supposed to have a conference with Liz about him. Look, be sure to have it today, okay? Okay. Uh, Brian. Uh, Brian Sturgis, this is Mr. Dixon. Hello, Brian. Come on in. Class, this is Brian Sturgis, a transfer student. Why don't you just have a seat over there? Okay, let's get back to the newspaper. Who can tell me the difference between a straight news story and an editorial? That's easy. Straight news is how it is, and editorial is how it ain't. <laughs> Helen? A straight news story is a factual account of an event, while an editorial is the opinion of the editor or publisher of the newspaper. Brian, we're discussing newspapers. Did you happen to read one this morning? Brian. Brian, can I see you a minute? What school did you transfer from? Can you hear me? Did you take history at your other school? What were you studying? shy, withdrawn, attributed to severe stuttering. No wonder you didn't say a word. What do they mean by severe? Well, according to what I've read on the subject, they're referring to speech interruptions which can last up to 30 or 40 seconds. Any speech therapy at his previous school? Uh-uh. It was a small school district. They didn't have any. No private therapy either, right? No chance. His parents prefer to think he'll outgrow it. Oh, you talked to him? Uh-huh, I tried. It's like they're right out of the dark ages. Oh, Brian, can I talk to you a minute? I bet you know the tops of your shoes like the back of your hands. Brian, I know you stutter. Well, you gotta give me a little credit. When a kid doesn't talk in my class, I just go right to his records. And your records say that you're a severe stutter. I'd like to judge for myself. This... This... satisfy your... curiosity? Okay, you got a handicap. But as far as I'm concerned, keeping your mouth shut is not the way to handle it. Look, Brian, I'm not suggesting that you stuff pebbles in your mouth and go out and shout at the ocean. I'm familiar with dem... 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 Mosthenes. I figured you were. What about speech therapy? No, 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 thanks. I, I tried that once. The guy just told me that I didn't have to stutter if I didn't want to. Look, Brian, you're at a point in your life when you're going to have to make a decision as to whether or not you're going to be a bystander or a participator. Now, I'd like to try and help you become the latter. How? Well, we start off small. First thing you do is participate in my class. 
Oh, there might be a few who may react when they hear you for the first time. What do I do if they l laugh at me? You ever try laughing back? Come on. Let's dig into history. Take today's front page. I'm sure that you noticed that each story had a byline written by a particular reporter. And others were by uh, AP, UPI, and Reuters. What's that all about? Brian? A. P. U. P. I. And Reuters are press services. News. Papers. Ouch. Pay a fee to them and our supplied with news stories. Thank you, Brian. Join you? Sure. Please do. Is that your lunch? That's it. Black coffee. Are you on some sort of a diet? I was born on a diet. Inside this lean, incredibly beautiful body is a fat man screaming to get out. <laughs> you know something? Right now, I could eat every pie in my Uncle Harry's bakery. Let's change the subject. Oh, hey, how's Brian Sturgis doing? He's doing great. He participated in Pete's class today. That's great. What was the reaction of the other kids? Oh, a few breakups, a few snickers. The kid hung right in there. That's just great. Hi, gang. Oh, boy, it is marvelous. Absolutely marvelous. Fantastic. <laughs> what? Oh, the videotape machine. After three days, we finally figured out how to work it. How's it going? Well, you know, it is going to revolutionize teaching. You think so, huh? Well, I don't have to do a critique on the kids. They can do it themselves. Oh, listen, I, I really have to get back. I just came to invite you all to a small banquet we're having tomorrow night to honor the kids that helped raise the money to buy it. Small banquet? You will come, won't you? Mm-hmm. Yeah, we'll be there. Mr. Coffin? Oh, how can I refuse? <laughs> Good. See you later. How's everything going? Just that. Fine. I thought you handled yourself beautifully yesterday in class. They, uh, they started to laugh at me. I, I got really uptight. I'm sure glad you were there. Well, that's fine. But what happens when I'm not? Guess I, uh, guess I just have to learn to ha handle that. Yeah, I guess you do. You know, I was talking to a friend of mine last night. He's a speech therapist. What a c coincidence. Isn't it? Anyway, one thing led to another, and uh, I told him about you. He thinks he can help. My, uh, my parents would n never agree. Hmm. Well, maybe if you applied a little pressure and the school applied a little pressure, we might be able to convince them. Anyway, here's his card. His name is Dr. Lubin. He just, uh, ha happened to give you his card, huh? Yeah, it's funny the way things happen, isn't it? Oh, Brian, what are you doing now? I've got a free period. Why don't you drop in on Mrs. Johnson's class? A few of the kids are working on some entertainment for the banquet. They could use some help. And 
I could use some more s social practice, right? You said it. I didn't. Advisor, if she thought of shoe. <laughs> oh, it's me. <laughs> shoe. <laughs> ne necessary. <laughs> Necessary to, to uh, look, take. Brian, uh, I know I got 20 minutes invested in this story, but I got to split the English. <laughs> but, but, but I got to ask you a qu qu question. Look, ask me tomorrow. <laughs> After gym, I got a free period. Hey, hey, hey Bob, Bob, wait, wait up. I'll, I'll walk with you to your, your class. Wow. That's a beautiful piece of work. What do you think? I think you're right. Nancy should be in a creative writing class. But how? I mean, she's on that 4-4 program. She doesn't have time for electives. Well, I think with uh, talent like this, we can find the time. I don't know how yet, but I'll think of something. You have a very kind heart, Miss McIntyre. And a rough job, Mr. Dixon. Come in. Kids look like you're about to confess. You just set fire to the school. What's wrong? It's about Brian. What about Brian? Hey, Mr. Dixon, uh, we uh, took candid shots of Brian stuttering, and we screened him, and he saw him, and he flipped, so we're sorry. You mean you taped Brian stuttering, and you were going to use it as part of the entertainment? Well, how could you be so insensitive? It was just a joke. I took shots of kids doing all kinds of dumb things around school. Got a great one of Mr. Kaufman at the water fountain. I'm not interested, Mr. Kaufman. But I am concerned about Brian. But, Mr. Dixon, if we didn't shoot anything on Brian, he could feel left out. This way he belongs. Don't give me that. Don't you kids know the difference between fun and ridicule? Well, you were the one who sent him down there in the first place, Mr. Dixon. Well, at that time, I had no idea what fun you had in store for him. Well, one thing's for certain. That sequence of Brian is going to be edited out of that tape. Great advisor, if she thought it was... Alice? Ne necessary you let that happen? Tape. Look, Pete, I didn't let this happen. I didn't even know about it. The kids went out on their own and shot this, and the first time I saw it was when Brian saw it. But you're the one who's responsible for that thing. You should have made sure of what they were doing. Look, I know. What can I say? I'm editing the tape now. It's a little late for that, isn't it? What else do you want me to do? You know, you're the one who sent Brian down here in the first place. But that doesn't change anything. You know, I feel as bad about this as you do. I doubt it. Hey, Galveston. Sorry. You're right. I sent Brian to you. I apologize. While apologies are in order, I guess I'd better go apologize to the one who needs it the most. Have any of you kids seen Brian? Oh, we saw him. We tried to explain and apologize, but just bugged out. We're really sorry, Mr. Dixon. We didn't think he'd take it the way he did. I'm sure he did. I guess none of us gave it enough thought, did we? Works every time. <laughs> um, 
We all know why we're here. We're here to congratulate both Miss Johnson and those students who did such a wonderful job of raising the money to buy this audio-visual equipment. I'm very proud of you. That ends my participation. That didn't hurt, did it? <laughs> On with the entertainment. All right, Bernie, I think we're ready. your petty revenge on some people who really meant you no harm, and you might have damaged that machine. Come in here. Brian, what you just did stunk. Now, none of us are to blame for your stuttering. We might be to blame for embarrassing you. We tried to apologize, but you weren't man enough to accept our apologies. You couldn't find the words to apologize for what you did to me. Probably not because you're too caught up in your own self-pity to hear him. What would you know about it? Do you know what it's like to just want to say good morning or, or tell a joke or, or tell some girl you like her? But you can't because you're afraid that they'll laugh in your face or, or run off in the middle of a sentence. Do you know what it's like to want to make a simple phone call? Do you know what any of that's like? Because I'll be happy to give it a name, Mr. Dixon. It's called agony. It's called... Hey, did, did, you, did you hear me just then? I guess all we have to do is keep you mad all the time, huh? To die, to sleep, no more. And by a sleep, to, to say we say end, we the, end heartache the heartache and the thousand, and thousand natural, natural shocks that the flesh, flesh is heir to. How about that, the first stuttering Hamlet? That's very good. Well, not exactly what Shakespeare had in mind, but a pretty good Brian Sturgis. You should hear me on the telephone. I call the information operator 25 times a day. Why, you have something going with the telephone company? No, it's uh, an exercise that doctor ha happened to give me. Well, I'm glad you just happened to run into it. Yeah, well, sometimes things just work out like that. Thank you. 